Fine. I'll help you do the damn dishes. Oh, come on. You know what? No, that's, see, that's not what I want. You just said that you want me to help you do the dishes. I want you to want to do the dishes. Why would I want to do dishes? Let's talk relationships. Relationships, those complex webs of emotions, promises, and shared Netflix passwords, are a source of both immense joy and bewilderment. One moment, you're basking in the glow of shared laughter, and the next, you're trying to decode a text message that's as mysterious as hieroglyphics. This perplexity, my friends, often arises from the different lenses through which men and women view relationships. Imagine you're watching a 3D movie, but one of you has the blue lens and the other has the red. Same movie, but different perspectives. It's not one is right or wrong, it's simply different. That's relationships for you. Two people navigating the roller coaster ride of life together, each with their unique point of view. So buckle up as we dive into the fun and sometimes frustrating world of male and female perspectives in relationships. Ever heard of the saying, men are from Mars, women are from Venus? Well, nowhere is this more apparent than in communication. Let's take a journey through a few short tales that showcase this cosmic conundrum. Picture this, a couple sitting in silence, the air thick with tension. The man, let's call him Jim, turns to his partner, let's say her name is Sarah, and asks, is everything okay? Sarah sighs and mutters a simple word, fine. Jim, relieved, takes this at face value and goes about his day, blissfully unaware of the impending storm. You see, in Venusian, fine is often a complex code, a signal for far from fine, but Jim, a Martian, hears fine and thinks, great, problem solved. Oh, Jim, if only it were that simple. Now let's pivot to another scenario. Jim comes home from work, grumbling about a tough day at the office. Sarah, ever the empathetic soul, asks him about his day, offering a listening ear. Jim shrugs it off, saying, it was just a day. Sarah, puzzled, wonders why he won't open up. But for Jim, expressing his feelings feels like traversing an alien landscape. For men, often, the direct approach works best. A problem arises, they want to fix it. For women, sometimes it's not about the problem solving, but about the act of sharing, of being heard. And let's not forget about nonverbal cues. A roll of the eyes, a sigh, a shrug. These are all part of the communication dance. For Jim, these subtle signs might as well be invisible, but for Sarah, they're loud and clear. So it's clear that men and women often speak different languages when it comes to communication. It's like trying to tune into a radio station, but you're both operating on different frequencies. Understanding this difference, this communication conundrum, is a key step in bridging the gap. So remember, when she says, fine, you might want to prepare for a storm. Feelings. Some say women have too many, while men seem to have too few, but is it really that simple? Let's dive into the whirlwind world of emotions in relationships. Picture this. A couple sitting on the couch after a long day. The woman, let's call her Sarah, is visibly upset. The man, let's call him Tom, is blissfully unaware, engrossed in a football game. Sarah finally breaks the silence. Tom, why aren't you upset? Tom, startled, looks at her and honestly replies, about what? Cue the emotional roller coaster. You see, women and men often have different emotional languages. Women generally tend to be more expressive, vocalizing their feelings and thoughts. They perceive emotions as a way to connect, to understand, and to empathize. On the other hand, men stereotypically are more reserved, keeping their feelings to themselves. This isn't because they're emotionless robots, but they often process feelings differently, sometimes internally. Let's go back to Sarah and Tom. Sarah is upset because she feels Tom doesn't care enough to be upset about a situation that has clearly bothered her. Tom, however, is confused. He's not upset because he doesn't see the point in both of them being upset. In his mind, why double the misery? Here's the kicker. Neither of them is wrong. They're just different. And these differences can lead to some amusing, albeit frustrating, miscommunications. Imagine this scenario. Sarah comes home upset about a fight with a friend. Tom, being the problem solver he is, immediately starts offering solutions. But Sarah isn't looking for solutions. She wants empathy, a listening ear, a comforting hug. Tom, however, feels like he's failing because he can't fix the problem. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the emotional roller coaster of relationships. It's a wild ride filled with ups, downs, twists, turns, and the occasional loop-de-loop. -loop. So guys, next time try a little empathy, not sympathy. And ladies, remember, not every silence is emotional neglect. It's all about understanding and respecting the different ways we express and process our feelings. Strap in, hold on tight, and enjoy the ride. Ever wondered why women take so long in the bathroom and why men seem to be in and out in a flash? Here's a tale as old as time. 
a story of a couple named Jack and Jill. Every morning Jill would disappear into the bathroom and emerge only after what felt like an eternity to Jack. He would often question this, to which Jill would reply, You just don't understand. On the other hand, Jack's bathroom routine was a mystery to Jill. She couldn't fathom how he could be ready in the blink of an eye. His response, I just keep it simple. This daily tussle wasn't just about time, but about their different priorities. Jill's beauty routine was her me time, while Jack's approach was all about efficiency. You see, bathroom battles aren't just about time, they're about understanding each other's needs and routines. So, ladies, maybe cut down on the beauty routine a bit, and gents, a little more effort wouldn't hurt. Well, we've had a fun ride through the minefield of male and female perspectives in relationships. We've unpacked the Pandora's box of communication, understanding that men are from Mars with their fix-it mentality, and women from Venus with their deep sea diving into emotions. We've dared to ride the emotional roller coaster where men often prefer the straight tracks while women enjoy the thrilling ups and downs. And who can forget the epic battle of the bathroom where towel etiquette and toilet seat diplomacy often lead to the most amusing skirmishes? But let's not forget these are sweeping generalizations and not everyone fits neatly into these categories. There are as many unique relationships as there are stars in the sky, and each one has its own peculiar and delightful dynamics. Remember, no matter how different we may seem at the end of the day, we're all just trying to understand each other, and failing hilariously while at it.